What's up everybody? We are back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do aircraft safety wire. I'm going to give you a couple of tips and a couple of tricks to make it a lot easier. Stick around and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I've got you set up here. Now, safety wire, which is what I'm holding in my hand, comes in three main sizes. 0 0.025, 0 0.032, and 0 0.041, commonly referred to as 32, 25, or 41 safety wire. It is stainless steel and has a MILT spec or a military specification. So really all aircraft safety wire is, is MIL spec lock wire. You can buy it from most aircraft parts retailers. You can buy it from a lot of these, I don't want to call it AutoZone, but like Falcon Crest Aviation Supply is very similar to an AutoZone for airplanes. They carry regular size filters, oil, and sort of just generic parts that many airplanes share. Um, it does come in a roll, uh, usually like I think four pounds is the weight. Um, but what you want to do is you want to cut yourself off a good size piece for the two bolts that you're going to wire together. So I'm going to use these two for the purpose of this demonstration. You then want to go through the holes that are drilled in the bolt. Now this is how you actually select the size of safety wire you want to use. It should be able to move through the bolt without restriction, but it shouldn't be so loose that it knocks around easily. So if I was using 025 for this bolt, it would be much too small and it would shake around really easily inside the head of the bolt. But 041 would be so thick that I'd have to sort of push it through the bolt and get it lined up perfect. So at this point, I like to get the wire an even distance in both hands. And then I'm going to come around the outside of the bolt in the direction of rotation. So if I was tightening this bolt with a wrench, I'm putting my thumb as the head of the wrench, this would be righty tighty. So I'm gonna take this strand of safety wire and while holding the other one, I'm gonna figure out how to use my hands here. I've not usually done this with a camera sort of grab the end of it and pull it around the head of the bolt and under the piece of wire that's sticking out from this hole, okay? And then you grab the other piece of wire with your hand, pull them tight together, and start your first wrap, okay? Now, if I'm wanting to go from this bolt to this bolt, I need to do it in such a way that puts both bolts in a tightening motion. This bolt here has come around. If I went straight to this side, I'm not gonna twist it up. If I went straight to this side, that wire would let this bolt loosen. So instead, I'm going to make an S pattern and come to this side of the bolt. And then again, the wire we will be pulling it in the tightening direction. I'm gonna stand up for a second. If you are twisting by hand, the further apart your hands are, the tighter the wraps of wire are going to be here. The closer together your hands are, I hope you can see this, the further apart they're going to be. You can see how they're sort of real shallow if I do it like that, okay? Again, when you do this, you want this string or this strand that's coming around the head of the bolt underneath this one because when I grab it with my duckbill pliers and put one more little twist down there on the bottom of it, it's gonna help pull it tight. As well as when I pull it over to this bolt, it's gonna help pull this wire tight so that I can't pull it back up over the head of the bolt. If you can reach under here with your fingernail and pull that over, the wire is not tight enough. Now, that's if you're gonna be doing it by hand. Fortunately for us, the aircraft industry has designed these really cool tools called safety wire pliers, okay? You squeeze down, I would get the one pair that's broken. You squeeze down and you pull the lock into place and then as you pull on this, it will spin them. And I'll show you that right now. You're gonna wanna go to where the head or the hole of the bolt in that head is, I should say. I would get the bad pair of safety wire pliers, oh well. All right, so I know the hole is right here. I'm gonna go just a fraction past it because as I twist the wire it's going to shrink slightly. Okay, I'm going to pull it back over this way. I'm going to give it one pull. I'm going to give it one more. It might need about half, half a pull. 
you see it's evenly twisting the wires. I'm gonna stop right there. What you're looking for in this twist is six to eight turns per inch. So if I assumed this was an inch, which on my hands it's pretty close, and countered each one of these braids, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, between this knuckle and this knuckle. And I told you it was six to eight turns per inch. Now you can see down here at the base where I started it by hand, those tights, those strands are a little bit tighter. Now, I'm going to show you a trick that people call the Kelly twist. Okay, with my safety wire pliers in here, let me reposition the camera for just a second. I'm going to rotate my hand and also do this motion. This motion is taking the wire and forcing it to wrap here at the very, very bottom. So I'm gonna grab it like this and pull my hand around one time. What that's going to do is put one extra wrap right here at the very bottom to make sure this tail is nice and snug around the head of the bolt. So now I've finished this part of the safety wire. I'm going to come to this hole. If you'll notice, this strand right here is on the top. You want to take that strand right there, separate it, and the strand that's on the top goes through this hole, like this. All right. I would use your duckbill pliers, sort of grab a hold of the end of it, okay, and, and pull on it where it's nice and snug. Now, sometimes, if you've work hardened the metal, it, or if you've had to unwrap it, this can be kind of difficult. So another little trick I have for you is you want to just sort of stop what you're doing and turn left or right, talk to the people around you, and sneak up on it and give it just a quick little tug like that. And that will help pull this wire nice and tight. So now holding this wire with the duckbill pliers, I'm going to come around. I should have clamped this down. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, and I'm going to start wrapping it. And when I start wrapping it, that's going to help keep this guy from coming loose. Now your safety wire pliers only go normally spin in one direction. You can buy expensive ones that spin in both directions, or you can just clamp it and spin them by hand. Now this time I'm spinning it counterclockwise because this strand of wire that's coming around is still going underneath the bolt that came out of the hole, but that's already setting it up to do a left hand turn. And one more time, I'm gonna do that little twisting maneuver, okay? I'm then going to take my diagonal cutters. I like to place them with the cutting edge facing away. And I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do probably about six of those pigtail wraps. And I'm going to hold on to it and cut these off. Now I held on to this for a reason. My students have a nasty habit of this. When you cut this off, if you're not holding on to this piece, it will shoot across the hanger. This piece can pop tires, it can end up in your shoe, it can poke you through your sock if you're not wearing the right shoes. So you want to hold on to these so you're not creating a FOD hazard. After you've done that, you can either use your duck bills or your safety wire pliers to complete the pigtail. I like to use the safety wire pliers because they're a little bit smaller. You're going to go about halfway down and twist it underneath itself. So I've made a U shape. Now I'm gonna grab it like this and close it up the rest of the way where the sharp edge that I cut off is underneath it and pointing back at the head of the bolt. Now I can run my hand all up and down this and it's not going to cut me. It might scrape a little bit, but I'm not gonna get a paper cut like this on my hand from that pigtail. All right guys, that's about as simple as I can make it. Trying to keep it a short video. If you found this useful, I'm gonna put another video link probably over here somewhere to show you how to do the turnbuckle. If you, if you like the video, like it, leave a comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Be easy.